हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी विल सी न्यूमेरिकल ऑन रैंकाइंस मेथड रैंकाइंस मेथड इज आल्सो कॉल्ड डिफ्लेक्शन एंगल मेथड सो दिस इज फर्स्ट न्यूमेरिकल टू टेंजेंट इंटरसेक्ट एट अ चाइनेज 1950 मीटर द डिफ्लेक्शन एंगल बीइंग 38 डिग्री कैलकुलेट ऑल द नेसेसरी डेटा फॉर सेटिंग आउट अ कर्व विथ अ रेडियस ऑफ 350 मीटर बाय रैंकाइंस मेथड टेक पेंट इंटरवल 30 मीटर दिस क्वेश्चन वाज आस्क मे 2019 फॉर 12 मार्क्स इन मुंबई यूनिवर्सिटी एग्जामिनेशन फर्स्ट डिजाइन स्टेप इज टेंजेंट लेंथ सो फर्स्ट डिजाइन स्टेप इज टेंजेंट लेंथ वी नो द फॉर्मूला फॉर टेंजेंट लेंथ इज आर टेन फाइव बाय टू आर इज द रेडियस इज थ्री फिफ्टी मीटर टेन फाइव इज थर्टी एट डिग्री गिवन इन द क्वेश्चन इट सेल्फ सो टेंजेंट लेंथ इज वन ट्वेंटी पॉइंट फाइव वन मीटर सेकेंड स्टेप इज कव लेंथ फॉर्मूला इज पाई आर फाइव बाय वन एटी आर इज थ्री फिफ्टी फाइव इज थर्टी एट सो कव लेंथ इज टू थर्टी टू पॉइंट वन टू मीटर थर्ड स्टेप इज चेनेज ऑफ फर्स्ट टेंजेंट पॉइंट दैट इज टी वन टी वन इज इक्वल टू चेनेज इंटरसेक्शन चेनेज माइनस टेंजेंट लेंथ सो चेनेज इंटरसेक्शन चेनेज इज वन नाइन फाइव जीरो गिवन इन द क्वेश्चन माइनस दिस इज द टेंजेंट लेंथ वन ट्वेंटी पॉइंट फाइव वन दिस वन सो टी वन इज इक्वल टू वन एट टू नाइन पॉइंट फोर नाइन मीटर जस्ट वी गॉट टेंजेंट लेंथ नाउ टेंजेंट टू दैट इज चेनेज ऑफ सेकेंड टेंजेंट पॉइंट दैट इज टी टू टी टू इज इक्वल टू टी वन प्लस लेंथ ऑफ द कर्व सो टी वन इज वन एट टू नाइन पॉइंट फोर नाइन प्लस लेंथ ऑफ द कर्व इज टू थ्री टू पॉइंट वन टू दैट इज टू जीरो सिक्स वन पॉइंट सिक्स वन मीटर जस्ट नाउ वी गॉट टी वन टी टू नाउ लेंथ ऑफ इनिशियल सब कॉड लेंथ ऑफ इनिशियल सब कॉड नाउ दिस इज वेरी क्रुशियल थिंग सीयर दिस इज द कर्व This is the intersection point that is B having chainage one nine five zero. This is starting point A. Two tangent intersect at B. This is T one. This is T two, and this is the curve. And this is the tangent line that is one twenty point five one. This is the chainage of T one. So chainage started from here zero to T one distance is one eight two nine point four nine. So now we have to calculate initial subcord. So chainage of T1 is 1829. So before T1, the cord length is 1800 because our peg interval is 30 meter. So before the chainage, before the T1, our cord length is 1800, and before 1800, the cord length is 17. Seven zero. That means it may be somewhere here. If we start from here, zero, thirty, sixty, ninety, one twenty. Likewise, so we can reach up to one seven zero zero, one eight zero zero, and this is my chainage T one. T one chainage is one eight two nine point four nine. This is the chainage of T one. Now the next next chainage is one eight. Three zero. So one eight three zero may be here. So I want to calculate this. I want to calculate difference between T one and this chainage. So this is called initial cord. So I want to calculate this distance. So to calculate this distance, I have to take higher cord minus existing cord. So higher cord is one eight three zero minus. Existing cord is one eight two nine point four nine. See here, so initial sub cord is one eight three zero minus one eight two nine point four nine is equal to zero point five one. So length of initial sub cord is zero point five one. Now length of final sub cord. Length of final sub cord. This is the T one T two point. This is the last point on the curve. This is the first point on the curve. Now I want to calculate final subcord. So last chainage 
is 2061.61 so previous change is 2040 again previous change is 2010 because the difference between every change is 30 meter because it is given in the question that peg interval is 30 meter so in while taking final sub chord always consider lower chord always consider lower chord so from existing sub chord minus lower chord okay, see here for final sub chord existing chord is 2061.61 minus lower sub chord that is 2040 so length of final sub chord is 21.61 meter now number of full chord in order to calculate number of full chord always consider the this full chords 2040 so 2040 minus 1830 is equal to 210 that this is the remaining distance in the curve here this is the remaining distance into the curve because this distance is initial sub chord this distance is final sub chord and this is the remaining distance this change of this is 1830 and change of this is 20 40 so we have to calculate number of full chord in between this so we have to minus 2040 minus 1830 2040 minus 1830 is equal to 210 meter the so remaining length is 210 meter so 210 divided by 30 with the y 30 because peg interval is 30 is equal to seven numbers so number of full chord is seven initial sub chord length is 0.51 final sub chord length is 21.61 now calculation of deflection angle for initial sub chord we know the formula is 1718.9 into initial sub chord divided by radius into 60 this is 60 is the multiplying constant so initial sub chord is 0.51 it is already calculated radius is 350 meter already given in the question So the first deflection angle or initial sub chord ang deflection angle is zero degree two minute thirty second. Now deflection angle for full chord. Now we have to replace initial chord with the full chord. Length of the full chord is thirty meter. Radius is three fifty. So one seven one eight point nine into thirteen divided by thirty three five zero into sixty. Deflection angle for full chord is two degree twenty seven minute twenty second. now we have to calculate deflection angle for final sub chord deflection angle for final sub chord again same formula we have to use final sub chord is equal to 1718.9 into this is the length of final sub chord that is 21.61 Divided by radius into 60, so angle is one degree 46 minutes seven second. Now check, check is the addition of all the angles. This is the initial sub chord angle plus seven multiplied by full chord angle plus final chord angle. Why seven multiplication here? Because number of full chord are seven, so we have to multiply by seven. If you calculate this, if you add all these, the total angle is 18 degree 59 minute 57 second. That is approximate 90 degree. And check is 5 by 25 is 38. 5 by 2, 5 is 38 degree. Divided by 2 is 19 degree. So this is the check. So whatever we have calculated, it is right. Now setting out the table. now how to draw the table here first in first column point second chain edge chord length deflection angle and total deflection angle this is the starting point of the curve that is t1 and chain edge of t1 is 1829.49 there is no chord length deflection angle for the t1 this is the first point on the curve that is p1 so this is the initial sub chord add into t1 initial add initial sub chord in 
initial subcoordinate t1 so you will get first point on the curve so 1829.49 plus 0.51 is equal to 1830 then we have to add number of full calls 1830 plus 30 is 1860 1860 plus 30 is 1890 1890 plus 30 is 1920 plus 30 1950 plus 30 1980 plus 30 210 plus 30 2040 plus this is the final support 21.61 so 2061.61 this is the t2 tangent 2 now this, these are the deflection angle we have already calculated for this is the initial deflection angle these are the number of full chords full chord deflection angle and this is the final sub chord deflection angle and he, this is the cumulative addition of the all the angles and finally the total angle is 90 degree thank you thank you for watching i appreciate your time thank you